Okay, so this is the mole ratios worksheet 9.2. Uh, we're just going to do a couple of these um, in each one, and then we'll we'll let you guys try the rest. So um, the first one, it asks you to balance the equation before you get, begin. So they give you a balance that CuCl plus H2S uh, gives you Cu2S plus HCl. So for this guy, um, we first look at our coppers. We have one copper. We have two coppers. So to balance, i got to put a 2 right here. Now what did I change as a result? Now I have two chlorines. I only have one chlorine over here. So I need to put a 2 right here. But what did I change as a result of putting a 2 right there? Now I have two hydrogens. So I look over here. Up, oh, I have two hydrogens. And then we check our sulfur. I have one sulfur and one sulfur. So we're good. So that, we're now balanced. So for this one, uh, we're going to do the first problem here. So it says, how many moles of CuCl are needed to make 13 moles of Cu2S? So you start with the value that you are given in the problem, which is 13 moles of Cu2S. Now, since this is a moles to moles jump, this is just going to be a one-step problem. So I do my times, goes into, I drop my label down, mole of Cu2S and we're going to moles of CuCl. Okay, now the numbers that I get from here, I'm simply looking at the coefficients from my balanced equation. So CuCl is a 2, and Cu2s, there's nothing there, but that means it's a 1. Okay, the math on this is really simple. It's 13 times 2, which is 26, and then you divide that by 1, so it's still... 26, uh, this cancels, that cancels, so 26 moles of CuCl.